Amina Begum was six years old when her father was abducted and killed during Bangladesh's 1971 war of liberation. Those who kill my father also kill many other people. They must pay for their crimes. No one is sure how many people were murdered, but the government says three million people were killed during the nine-month war with Pakistan that led to the birth of a new nation, Bangladesh. Amina's father was brought to this killing field. Thousands of people were shot here, their bodies mutilated. Many were even buried alive. Those involved in this massacre were not Pakistani soldiers, but a few young Bangladeshi men that collaborated with Pakistan's army. Now these men are still alive, they're in their 60s, and yet no one has been tried for these killings up until now. The government has set up an international war crimes tribunal. Investigator Hassan Khan is looking into crimes that took place 40 years ago. This man, Delwar Hussain Saidi, prominent leader of Jamaati Islami, is accused of being involved in mass killings. Hassan Khan is gathering evidence for his trial. For a fair trial, time is not affected. 40 years, 50 years is not affected. Factor is the justice. Human rights organizations have criticized Bangladesh's war crimes tribunal. Because they're opposition leaders, it does obviously look as though the government is taking steps to attack the opposition. And therefore that places a particular responsibility on the government to ensure that the trials that do take place are fair and above dispute. And that is one of the questions that people are raising at the moment. If convicted, they will receive the death penalty. This will mean justice for Amina Begum, but it will cripple the opposition and risk creating further political instability. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dhaka.